Creating a static home page is the first step in setting up your ProPhoto site to function as an all-in-one solution for your web presence. Having a static home page allows you to create a scaled-down landing page designed however you like and gives visitors a way to access blog posts in a separate area. The first step is to create a new page from which you will display your blog posts. Go to Pages, Add New, and title your new page, Blog. Now don't add any content to this page, just leave it empty. It's really just a placeholder for WordPress to know from where to display your most recent blog posts. Click to publish the page. Step two is to create another new page that will be your static front page. This is the page that viewers land on when they first visit your website. You can title it anything you like, but often home makes a lot of sense. Eventually, this page will contain the content of your static front page. For this demonstration, I'm going to just insert a simple pro photo grid that links to some of my galleries. I don't want people to be able to comment here so I'll make sure to disable comments for just this page. To do that, click the Screen Options link in the upper right-hand corner of the page and check the Discussion box. Then scroll down to the Discussion Editing area and uncheck Allow Comments. Click Update to save all these changes. Now that you've created the home and blog pages you want to use, you need to tell WordPress to use those pages as your home page and blog post page. You'll do this in Settings Reading. In the Front Page Displays area, select a static home page. Then, for your static home page, select the home page you created for your front page. And for your post page, select the blog page that you created. Then, like always, click the Save Changes button. Since our blog posts are no longer set to show up on our home page, in the fourth step, we'll create a link to our blog post page from the menu. To do that, go to ProPhoto Customize. Click the Menus button, and then the menu where you want the link to appear. Click Add New Menu Item, and then the Edit Menu Item icon. In the Menu Customization pop-up, click Internal Blog Links then Specific WordPress Page, and then select the blog page you created. Name your link and click Save Changes. You can create a menu link for your static home page using this very same process. The only difference being that this time I choose a different page, my home page, and a different name for my link. Probably something like Home. Now I refresh the site to see what the changes look like. There! Now I have a static home page where I see the grid I inserted, along with a menu link to my blog post page and my home page. It's common to want a clean, uncluttered look for the landing page. So, ProPhoto gives you the ability to remove certain content from your home page. Even more specific cleanup can be done with custom CSS that ProPhoto allows you to put in. We've put together a tutorial on how to hide certain elements on your static homepage as well as other areas of your site. And you can see this link at the end of the written portion of this tutorial. A lot of users who are going to a static homepage want to replace their main website with their ProPhoto site. Often, this involves moving the WordPress files from a subdirectory location like mysite.com slash blog to mysite.com. Again, you can find a link to a detailed tutorial and video on this process at the end of this tutorial.